All right, YouTube. Well, I am uh, done fishing. I am freaking whooped. Sun's beating down on me, and I just caught probably 60, 65 bass. That's just a rough guess. Might be a little more. Um, I stopped counting at about 15 or 20. They were all about, uh, shoot, 10 to 16 inches, and uh, just had a whole bunch of fun. I was really hoping for some trout. I was here about a month ago, and you could see some, some bigger trout or stock salmon trying to make it up the dam here. But let me go ahead and show you this dam. This dam right here, this is an old fish ladder here. This was built in 1908, and it was for the Big Bend Powerhouse. And there's a powerhouse that's that way, about three miles, and right up above the dam, they have an intake that's out of, out of hard rock that goes straight down and straight through the mountain, this tunnel that they, that they built, straight through the mountain. It's unbelievable. And then it comes out on the other side of the mountain, and uh, it used to drop down the hill to the Big Bend Powerhouse, and the Big Bend Powerhouse is now underneath Lake Oroville. So when the lake was built in 1960, this dam was decommissioned. That powerhouse was, or excuse me, this dam was created, and, uh, or excuse me, I'm getting all mixed up. This dam was decommissioned. It used to be about oh, six, eight feet higher with some metal grating. <coughs> you can see that angle thing over there. And uh, there was a fish ladder that went up and let the fish get by. But anyways, um, so from about 1908 to 1960 or so, this dam was in use feeding the Big Bend powerhouse above Las Plumas. So anyways, I'll, you'll see some other pics or already have seen some other pics in the video of this dam and some old historic pictures. I'll even throw a couple in there of the um, of the powerhouse itself. But you can see what kind of remote territory I'm in here. I'm going to give you a shot of the dam. I'm walking out onto it and uh, kind of gives you a little bit better perspective as far as the size. So even though it's little, it's still pretty darn huge. I'm gonna walk up here to where the water's spilling through. And uh, there's some other YouTube videos with people uh, actually rafting across that. It's pretty impressive. So, uh, pretty cool. Again, it's, uh, must have used some, some pretty good dynamite to open this thing up take this level down because it used to be solid all the way across which you'll probably see in some of the older pictures so um, right up over here you can see those rocks where my fishing pole is pointing and that's where that intake is and you'll I'll show a picture from above where that intake used to be so gives you an idea of the pool that was created and uh, a lot of water you can see you can some, see some bigger fish still trying to make it up this raging water here. Those are the ones I was trying to catch. I know those are the trout. But I think the only thing they're concerned about right now is getting over that dam. Uh, they got it in their mind, they're gonna make it. So we'll watch for another second or two and see if we see any. They definitely have perseverance. I don't think the bass care too much. Oh, there was one. So that's what I was hoping to hook onto. Wait for another one here. See if we can see another. But what a wonderful day. Hope, uh, hope you folks have got to enjoy something like this over the 4th of July weekend as well. Because it just is fantastic. All right, YouTube. I will uh, talk to you in a bit. I'm going to give you a look at some of the massive hardware that was part of this dam once upon a time. Look at these big old lifting eyes. I got big hands. You can see how big them lifting eyes are. Looks like a big brass nut underneath it. Well, maybe they're not lifting eyes. I see that they're threaded, so...
another neat view. Two bald eagles, awesome.